good evening. This is my very first YouTube video. Tonight is New Year's Eve 2020. My name is Rachel Merrill. I'm welcoming you to my brand new YouTube channel. And 2020 is a year that we will never forget. Any of us who have lived through it, it has been a whirlwind. Um, despite, you know, on top of the global pandemic, we have had so much other stuff come up in our personal lives. I know I've had a lot of family crises happen and a lot of issues occur. And yet, despite all of that, even though it's been such a challenge, I have found it to be the most enlightening year, really an eye-opener, true 2020. So I want to share with you tonight some things to help you let go of 2020. Some things that help me with clearing. So this is a um, spiritual channel that will help you with tools to get you through 2021 and beyond. Um, so each of these tools that I will share with you, practices that I'll share with you, meditations, all of this is going to really be a practice, uh, a new habit, a way of living. And these will be things to help raise your vibration which is very important when we are heading into the intense unknown energies of 2021. So I invite you tonight to join with me to learn about clearing and letting go. Now when I'm talking about spiritual clearing, there are several ways that you can do this. And I would like to share with you ways that have helped me and um, the easiest way, there are several ways, and the first easiest way is to use selenite crystals. And that, um, you can pick up one of these. This is a selenite wand. And you can also get them in other forms. I also have this really cool selenite tower. See how it changes the colors? Pretty awesome. Um, but I use this morning and night. So you can use it in the morning, waving it over your aura field. And then before you go to bed, I go the other way. And this, this crystal is pretty awesome because it clears all of the other crystals. Um, so you don't need to wash selenite and it just has such a wonderful energy. So in addition to selenite, you can also make sure that you have windows open. I'm going to open them after I finish this video actually. Um, and what you can use is you can either spray Palo Santo spray or um, because I don't have that, I'm going to light some Palo Santo. I'll share that with you. So I'm lighting my match. And this wood is Palo Santo. Make sure it catches a little nice little flame on the end and then gently blow it and you can see that there's smoke that comes out of this and uh, Palo Santo is known as a wood that helps to bring in the good energy and so you can use this for clearing while keeping in mind that this is going to bring in good. So you can use this to just burn it in your room as long as you open the windows or wave it over you. It has a very nice kind of woodsy smell. 
and then I'm going to actually put it back in here because it's still burning a little bit into my seashell. And now I'm going to show you another way of clearing, which is actually with uh, some sage. And so you can see I've burned this a little bit before. I use this for room clearing. This helps to take out the negative energies. So tonight, before we totally ring in the new year, I am going to burn sage throughout my house and use a feather to waft it through the halls. I'm going to make sure that a couple of the doors are open, windows are open, and you can do whatever you'd like when you're doing this. Um, I like to start out by having a, a sense of reverence and saying thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, um, in a ritual, kind of wash my hands in the smoke of the sage. And then I waft it throughout my house to clear the house. Um, so I'm lighting a match again. And then lighting the sage. Gently blow it. Oh, there's a lot of smoke. <laughs> I didn't know it would be such an entertaining video, now did you? <laughs> um, so this sage, this burns off any negativity and um, it has some pretty potent looking <laughs> smoke coming from it. Uh, I will definitely make sure to open my window. Um, but so this can help you clear anything you don't want. Anytime there's a stressful situation, etc., I make sure to go ahead and burn the sage, but it's also really cool that it burns the bacteria in the air. So you are literally killing the bacteria in the air. Um, sometimes when my trash smells really bad, I like to waft this over that and it will smell so much better. It's just better. Okay, I'm going to put that down. And then what you do is when you're done with the sage, you um, can put it out and then you are going to put the ashes outside because you don't want to keep them inside. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, <clears throat> another way, <laughs> don't choke on the smoke. <laughs> huh. um, the light went out. Okay. <laughs> another way that you can clear is you can... Um, meditate while imagining your energy okay and so this happens I'm trying to turn back on my laptop I think that, that is the problem that happened um, another way that you can clear the energy there we go much better you can close your eyes in meditation Think of what it is that is really truly bothering you and keep that in mind in the back of your mind, then focus on your heart center and you're going to imagine your heart is glowing and put your problems in your hand, of course, energetically as though there is a circle. And when you close your eyes, you're going to imagine Breathe deeply, breathe out. You're gonna grow your heart center energy. Keep growing it until it expands to clear what is in your hand, your energy. Of course, this is all just a visualization, but it's helping you to actually clear it. And if you want, you can also call upon Archangel Michael and ask for his beautiful blue ray of energy to come down 
and clear as well because we cannot just rely on our own energies. We have the angels available to help us. So that is my quick, sort of amusing, um, crash course on clearing out the old energies. And when you do this, you open up space to welcome in the new. So I hope you have a very happy new year. Have a wonderful year. And I can't wait to see, um, how many wonderful things we can share with each other in 2021. Be well. Namaste.